morning, everybody. I'm squinting at you, but I promise you it is way quieter out here. So I came out here to open up the vlog. Um, the birds are chirping. It is a beautiful day. I mean, it is gorgeous. It's like probably 60 degrees, sunny, beautiful. Feels like that Christmas crisp this in the year, but welcome to the vlog. My name is Jess. I vlog every single day over here on my YouTube channel. I show you a little bit of everything combined in my vlog, so I always do timestamps down below if you want to skip around. We are in the middle of moving and buying a house, selling a house. Things are kind of chaotic. This week, we are on spring break, so we're at my mom and dad's house, and we've been having a lot of fun. We have today and tomorrow, and then um, the next day on Saturday, we'll be going home. So I actually film these vlogs two days in advance. So when you guys are watching, I'm actually filming on Thursday. You guys won't see this till Saturday. So we'll be going home the day you see this. Um, it just helps me with editing time and stuff. But we would love to have you subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, that would really help out my channel. And we would love to have you part of the fam. So um, this morning we are kind of tired. We stayed up late last night talking about house stuff. Um, we are going to be putting an offer on a house that we've never even stepped foot in. Um, which may sound crazy, but we really love this house and um, we've done a FaceTime pictures video all of this in the house So we feel pretty confident and we really trust our realtor and we feel like we need to move on it so we stayed up late last night talking to our um, Lender figuring out the best type of loan and all of that we've got all that situated and now we're ready to make an offer um, we're waiting to hear back from our real estate agent. She's working with another client right now, but as soon as she gets done this morning, we are going to be submitting an offer. We've already told our sellers, we sent them a letter. Um, so we've already told them, um, that the offer will be coming this morning. And so we feel very, very excited about that. They, they responded very positively to the letter and, um, they even said like, we, we can't, we really hope we can bless this family, which that sounds awesome. The fact that they seem open to our family and moved by what we said. Um, so we are excited. We're, I'm not trying to get my hopes up, but it's a beautiful house. It's four bedrooms. It's everything we've been wanting and looking for. So good price, everything. So, we're going to be submitting an offer. I will let you guys know how all of that goes. And if we hear back from them today, definitely we'll be letting you know. This morning, we also have a phone. Uh, uh, what am I trying to say? We have a <laughs> FaceTime with our, with our pastor in Arkansas, just to kind of catch up with him. I haven't even been able to talk to anybody from the church in the last few weeks. Um, so it'll be nice to kind of connect again with them. And then David's going to be working. I think he may go up to the, our home church here, um, the church I grew up in. I think he may go there and, and find a quiet space. They said he could come find a quiet space to work on his um, sermon for this weekend and stuff like that. So we'll be hanging out with the kids here. I would love to get to Trader Joe's while I'm here and get a few things that we love, but I don't know if I'll, that'll work out. We'll just have to see. But anyway, you guys come hang out with us today, whatever we do or whatever happens with the house, we'll definitely let you guys know. Um, we did hear back from our inspection. So our, our uh, buyers that are buying our house in Indiana, they had their inspection yesterday and everything actually came back really good. There was only a couple of things. Um, and there's one part of the crawl space that they're, they're worried about some moisture. So they're going to have a contractor come out tomorrow and just see how much it would cost to fix that, um, which we're hoping it won't be too much and we can just pay for it and let them get that fixed. And I want them to have the house perfectly, you know, as, as much as we had it perfectly, like, you know, I mean, it's the older house. It's not going to be perfect, but I want them to have no issues. So anyway. That is all great news, um, but you guys come along with us. We'll show you everything about our day, and we can hang out and be together on our fourth day of spring break. All right, you guys, I'm sorry for the glow of the computer, <laughs> but it's either that or sit in the dark down here. Um, I just laid Mark down for a nap, so I'm going to talk kind of quiet. He's right in the next room, but he's got the sound machine going and the door shut, so hopefully they need a nap, <laughs> these boys, <laughs> y'all. The toddlers between Mark and his cousin Wilson. They love each other. They want to play with each other, but they also fight all day long. So our day is constantly giving people in time out. It's just constant. So we're like rejoicing that it's nap time and we can have chill time. Um, so I think I talked to you guys for just a minute this morning. So let me kind of update you. 
We talked to our realtor right after I got done blogging that little update this morning to y'all or the start of the blog this morning to y'all. Um, and we got kind of our offer together that we wanted to send over and we sent it over. So we have put an offer on a home. If you saw yesterday's video, I talked more light about it. Um, we've put an offer on a home that we've never stepped our feet in. <laughs> Either one of us. We just really love this house. Um, we feel like it's the one. They have other offers though. So I don't know if they're going to accept ours. I don't know if they're going to agree to it. We did a little bit under asking price and we asked for a painting allowance and for them to pay co closing costs. So I just don't know if they're going to agree to it. Um, but we did what we could, like we said over. And if it doesn't work out, then we'll go back to the drawing board and it's not the right house, you know? So we're still waiting to hear. It's only been sent to them a couple hours. So I'm not sure when we'll hear back. Um, I think they have till tomorrow to tell us. So I'm not even sure if I'll find out today. But our real estate agent did say that they had already contacted her to see, like, to make sure we would still be sending an offer. So they seem really interested in us. We sent them a letter about ourselves and um we also sent them a video of us uh it's the same video that we had sent the church to tell them we would be coming and all that's so a really um it just kind of tells about like what we would be doing and um and so they really liked that video so they were asking like are we sitting are we still going to be sending them an offer and she said yes and then a few hours after that she sent them the offer so I'm trying not to get my hopes up. I'm you know, actually really calm about this. I feel like if it's meant to be, if it's the house God has for us, then it will be approved. If it's not, then there's something else, you know? So uh, we're just kind of waiting to hear back from that today. The kids are playing. It's, it's like one o'clock now. I'm just getting the video edited from yesterday so it can go up tomorrow. Um, but we're just going to have some quiet time. I'd like to finish or at least read some of my book. I had all these big plans of reading a lot this week and it just, it just hasn't happened. That's fine. We've been having fun um, just hanging out with family and stuff, which is awesome. We did get to talk with our pastor, which was so fun to connect. You know what? The internet and like social media, not social, well, you guys too. Like it's so cool that someone can be in Arkansas or you guys could be in Australia or wherever you're watching and you can it, like everybody's just a phone call away you know a FaceTime away to see their face and connect it's really great we really love the church and their pastor they seem such it just seems like such a family oriented church it seems like um the staff is like really close to each other which we've been wanting for a long time and it just we're so excited it was so good to get to see him and talk to him for a little bit this morning and kind of connect a little bit since I haven't been able to be at the church in the last few weeks. You know, David's been going, but I haven't. And so the fact that he came and talked to us was awesome, or he FaceTimed, he didn't come. <laughs> he FaceTimed us, talked to us, it was awesome. And that was really fun this morning. And um, other than that, we've just been hanging out. Mom made us all grilled cheeses for lunch. You can't go wrong cheese. That was delicious. And um, we're just hanging out. I think she said she's going to make breakfast for dinner tonight which we all love. So that's the news, y'all. As soon as I hear whether the offer was accepted or not, I will definitely let you guys know. I know so many of you are praying um, and we really appreciate that. Uh, we also asked, we asked, we made sure to ask for closing to be right around the time we need it to be, to be able to move in, um, you know, as close to the beginning of May as possible. Like our house in Indiana is set to close on April 24th, I think. So, um, we have two weeks after that to move out, but I mean, I would love to not have to stay there those two weeks and to go ahead and move as soon as possible after we close so that we can get the kids established in their new routine and all of that. But again, God knows the timing and whatever happens, I'm sure will be the perfect thing. So I'm going to read a little bit, letting this video finish, um, rendering. And so I can upload it to YouTube in a little bit. So I love you guys. I'll see you in a little bit.
time to show you this. So my mom um, used some romaine. This is one that's like a couple weeks old, I think. And this is just like the, you know, end of the romaine. She's put a little bit of water and it's growing. It's regrowing. You can see this one's starting too. How cool is that? Has anybody ever tried regrowing? Like, I know they say like green onions and... Anyway, this is romaine lettuce. <laughs> so it's so cool. All right, girls, what y'all having for dinner? Chocolate breakfast food in the world. Chocolate pancakes, strawberries, bacon, mm, chocolate whipped cream. Millie, that looks good. Oh, it feels nice out here too. I don't breakfast like for dinner. Breakfast for dinner. Breakfast for dinner. Yeah. Hello, welcome to the great blue light again. Um, I'm sitting in front of my computer because it is the end of the night. Don't mind all that junk in the background. My suitcase is spilling out. Um, okay, so, so much to update you guys on. Uh, we had a great night. Mom made a delicious breakfast for dinner. She makes the best biscuits. And we had Kaneka sausage, which if you're from Alabama, Kaneka sausage is the best smoked sausage. It's so good. Um, she made the kids chocolate chip, no, hot cocoa pancakes, and everybody had fun with their cousins. They did some arts and crafts, Easter paintings and stuff, and anyway, this is the last night that Millie, uh, Lucy's bestie, bestie cousin, <laughs> uh, they're, like I said, they're like nine days apart in terms of uh, birth age, and um, tonight's the last night she's going to get to spend the night because we're leaving Saturday morning early. And tonight's Thursday night. She has school tomorrow, and then we won't get to see her after um, tomorrow. So we're sad about that. Lucy's very sad about that. But um, it's been so good to be able to see family so much. And um, my mom and dad are actually leaving Saturday morning as well. They're going on a cruise with my other niece, Emma, who's 13. So she's going on her first cruise with them. And uh, they're leaving at the same time as us, like early, early Saturday morning. So Anyways, we were just looking at the weather because we want to make sure there's like a storm coming through tomorrow night, but it looks like it's going to be passed uh, by the time we're all leaving. <laughs> Mom was like, I don't want you traveling with all the kids by yourself if it's going to be storming and idle either. Like, that just seems like horrible trying to get kids into the bathroom and all of that. Like by myself, it's hard enough without it being like a thunderstorm, but it looks like it's all going to be passed by the time I leave. Okay, now on to the big, big news, and I'm trying to find a better light, and there's none available, so I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, about our offer. So, let, tonight we heard back from them. Um, they So, we sent an offer this morning. They sent a counter offer. They came up a little bit in price. It actually wasn't that much. Um, they sent a counter offer, and then we countered that and came down just a little bit more, which is just, anyway we counted a little bit less and they accepted it. We are so excited. So these, these awesome people, they were going to have a open house on Saturday. And so our realtor was like, I don't know, they may want to get, you know, offers at that. Um, we did ask below asking price and all of that. They also had a cash offer they could have accepted. But ultimately, they went with us. Um, we did send them that letter, and they said it was really moving, and they really wanted to help us. And anyway, we still have to have an inspection. So hopefully, that does not go like the other one did. And there's, it is a newer house. It's 2016. It was built. So it's way newer than the other one we would put an offer on, and the inspection was bad and all that. So I'm hoping it's going to be all good. It's an amazing area of town, a little bit further to the church, but I think we're going to be happy where it is. Um, we're just so excited. So um, we have to be out of our Indiana house on May 8th. And the house that we're buying in Arkansas, they have to be out by May 1st. So we'll have between the 1st and the 8th to move, um, which I think will be perfect. We are going to have to paint some areas. Uh, we ended up dropping. We didn't ask for the paint allowance. We dropped that. So we're just going to do it ourselves. Um, I want to repaint like the entire house. So um, yeah, all of our painting friends. <laughs> if you love to paint, <laughs> we may have a painting party. I don't know. Um, but I think it'll feel good to have it all freshly painted um, and paints. I mean, paint's pretty cheap. So anyways, we're really excited. I think that 
the timing and all of that. I mean, we, y'all, we put an offer on a house without even stepping foot in it, which I know sounds crazy, but it just felt right. It just, I can't explain it. I asked David before we did the FaceTime, I feel like I'm zoomed in and it's really, um, irking me, but no, it's not. Um, I asked David before we saw it on a FaceTime, we saw the house. I was like, is there any way you would put an offer in? If this house is perfect, would you put an offer in it without even seeing it? And he was like, no, probably not. And so I was thinking, okay, we're going to have to wait till this weekend. Hopefully it's still available. We saw the house and he hung up the FaceTime and he was like, this is it. <laughs> we need to put an offer in. I was like, you said, and he's like, I know, but we have to, it's, it's it. Y'all, it's such a beautiful house. Um, it looks like a lot like the house that we're selling in terms of the outside of it, which I love. Uh, four bedrooms, big bedrooms, closets, uh, big, huge garage, bathtub, pantry, hardwood floors, no carpet in the whole house. So we are just so excited. And I wanted to make sure I tell you guys, thank you for all of your prayers. This has been a emotional roller coaster. But we are so thankful to be on the other side of it, hopefully. <laughs> and everything is going to work out great. Anyway, we're really excited. So now we have a house. It's crazy. That's crazy. We can stop looking at Zillow 100 million times a day. <laughs> so anyway, I love you guys. I am going to get this video edited tomorrow. Mom is like got to pack for her cruise. <laughs> she's She's been in a nanny mode and so I, she needs to take some time and pack for her cruise and get all this stuff together. I think Nate, uh, David may take Nate to the trampoline park. He's been asking to go all week so he may take him in the morning and let him do that. And then um, I still want to go to Trader Joe's and I want to go to Sam's because my kids are almost out of their Zyrtec that they take and it's so much cheaper at Sam's. So when we move, we're going to have a Sam's in our city. That'll be awesome. Um, I don't buy a lot of stuff from Sam's, but there are a few things that are totally worth it. So I want to do that tomorrow and just kind of start repacking everything because Saturday morning early, we will be heading back to Indiana. So that is it for today. I think that's all to tell y'all. Yay. <laughs> happy dance. Happy dance. Yes. Yes. We have a house. We have a house. When we finally got the call, we were just like, yes, yes. It's such a relief. Um, and you know, it's disappointing about our other house that fell through with the inspection, but it all worked out like this house we like even more. And I think it's just for the best. So God knows his timing is always perfect. And we kept saying like, we don't get a house. We're going to be homeless. But then in the back of my head, I really wasn't worried about that because God has worked out every other area. Like he has worked out everything so perfectly with this whole crazy season that I knew he was going to come through for us on this house. I just knew it. And here we are. Here we are. So Anyway, we'll be getting an inspection soon and we'll let you guys know. Of course, stay tuned. We'll let you guys know how everything goes and all of this process, but we are really excited. If you like this video and you like that news, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. We'll see y'all tomorrow. I know.